Hello and welcome to this edition of Back in History. In this edition, we bring to you the profile of Kashim Shetima, the current Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We present to you the story of his birth, his parentage, his education, his working career, and his entry into the political space in his home state of Borono and his eventual election as the Vice President of Nigeria. Welcome to this edition of Back in History. Kashim Shetima was born in Meidugri on 2nd September 1966. When he came of age, he was enrolled at Lamisula Primary School in Meidugri, where he studied from 1972 to 1978. Kashim graduated from the institution with a first school living certificate. In the same year, 1978, he enrolled at the Government Community Secondary School Bill in the southern part of Borono State for his secondary education. He was there for two years, namely from 1978 to 1980. In 1980, he transferred his studies to Government Science Secondary School Portisco, where he completed his secondary education in 1983. The young Kashim graduated with the West African Schools Examination Certificate. Kashim was hungry for more education and therefore sought for admission into the University of Meidugri. He gained admission into the university. He was admitted to study for a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Economics. He went about his studies and successfully graduated with a degree certificate and was qualified for the National Youth Service, a compulsory national assignment for Nigerian graduates who are within the age of 30. For this assignment, he was posted to Cross River State in the south-south region of Nigeria. His place of primary assignment was the Nigerian Agricultural Cooperative Bank in Calabar, the capital of Cross River State. Kashim served here for one year beginning from 1989 to 1990 and successfully completed the NYSC program. In 1991, Kashim enrolled for a master's degree in agricultural economics at the University of Ibadan in the southwest of Nigeria. On completion of his postgraduate studies, he returned to his home state of Borono and gained employment as a lecturer in the Department of Agricultural Economics in the University of Meidugri, his alma mater. Kashim lectured in the said institution from 1991 to 1993 when he voluntarily resigned his employment. When Kashim left the academia in 1993, he moved straight into the banking sector. He was first employed by the then Commercial Bank of Africa Limited. He was designated as the head of accounts unit at the bank's office in Ikeja, Lagos State, Nigeria. Shetima was there from 1993 to 1997. During this time, Shetima gained practical insight into the world of banking. He had the opportunity of rendering his services in several departments within the bank. In 1997, Shetima crossed over to the African International Bank Limited, where he started another round of his banking career in the Kaduna branch of the bank as a deputy manager. He remained here for a number of years and rose to the position of manager in 2001. Kashima did not stop here. He moved on to Zenith Bank PLC, where he was posted to serve as head of the bank's main office stroke branch in Meidugri. His posting to Meidugri seems to have been a turning point in his life and career. In Meidugri, he was at home with his people, and from there he was able to study and understand the dynamics of the politics of his states. 
more so by the nature of his work he came in close contact with the who is who in the politics of the state and in the business of the region he rose through the ranks at zenith bank and soon became the senior manager stroke branch head he was later promoted to the rank of assistant general manager stroke zono head northeast and further promoted to the rank of Deputy General Manager Stroke Zono Head, also for the Northeast. He received another promotion as General Manager of the bank. These were big positions in banking, and every promotion came as a result of performance in the previous position held. In 2007, Shetima was nominated as Commissioner in his home state of Borono by Governor Ali Modu Sharif and his name was forwarded to the State House of Assembly for confirmation in line with the law. Following his nomination, he resigned from Zenith Bank. He was successfully screened by the Borono State House of Assembly and his nomination confirmed. He was then sworn in to the State Executive Council by the then governor of the states. He was assigned to the Minister of Finance and Economic Development as commissioner. He served creditably in this office and became more acquainted with the politics of his state and the nuances of governance. Shetima appears to have gained the trust and confidence of his boss within the shortest possible time and had the privilege of being assigned as commissioner to a total of five ministries, namely, Minister of Finance and Economic Development, Minister of Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs, Minister of Education, Minister of Agriculture, and Ministry of Health. This itself was a feat in politics where there is endless competition for political offices and positions. Governor Limo Sheriff, the governor in whose cabinet Shetima served, was a member of the All Nigeria People's Party, the ANPP. So also were members of his cabinet. Ali Modu Sheriff's tenure was winding down and the search for a successor had begun. Primaries were scheduled to hold by political parties across the country, and in January 2011, the ANPP in Borono State held its governorship primaries with engineer Modu Fanami Gubio emerging as its governorship candidate. At this time, Kazim Shetima had become a dependable ally to the who is who in the ANPP in Borono State and was surely going to take active part in the next government in the state. Serious preparations were made towards the attainment of success at the upcoming election, with Engineer Fanami as the candidate of the party. But as mere mortals, no one knew that Engineer Modu Fanami was not going to be alive to contest the governorship election. Engineer Fanami was shot dead by gunmen, and the ANPP was thrown into mourning. His remains were later buried in line with the tenets of the Islamic religion. Having been buried, someone needed to be nominated to replace him as the election was just by the coroner. Several names were thrown up by different people, but the lot fell on Kashim Shetima. A second primary was held in February 2011, and Kashim Shetima emerged as the flag bearer of the ANPP. He embarked on vigorous campaign across the state and sought the support of voters across party lines. The governorship election was held on 26 April 2011 and Shetima earned a total of 531,147 votes to defeat his closest rival, Mohamed Goni, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who earned a total of 450,141 votes. 
On May 29th, 2011, Chetima was sworn in as the governor of Borono State. He went on to govern the state for the first four years, which ended in 2015. He contested for another term. This time around, he contested on the platform of the APC. He was unopposed at the primaries of the APC after all the aspirants stepped down for him. He won the governorship election with 94% of the vote to defeat his closest rival, Gambo Lawa, who was the candidate of the PDP. He completed his second term and final term as governor in 2019. He should be noted that his term in office as governor witnessed the deadly Boko Haram insurgency, which became a serious security issue and security risk in Borono State and its environs. In 2014, Shetima emerged as the leadership newspaper's governor of the year. In 2015, he emerged as the Nigeria Union of Journalists governor of the year. Also in 2015, Newswatch Times and Vanguard newspapers announced him as their governor of the year. In 2016, he won an award from Tell Magazine, a leading news magazine in Nigeria. In 2017, he was awarded with the Zig Prize for Leadership. Still in 2017, the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Kaduna State Branch, presented him with an award for courage and exceptional leadership. In the same year, 2017, the Nigeria Union of Journalists, Federal Capital Territory Branch, Abuja, presented him with Merit Award for Exceptional Leadership. Towards the end of his second term as governor, Shetima indicated interest in the Borono Central senatorial seats. And when the nomination forms were sold, he purchased the form and supplied the needed information in the form. He won the primaries and became the candidate of the APC for the Borono Central Senatorial District. He won the election and proceeded to represent his constituents at Nigeria's Senate in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. On completion of his four-year term at the Senate, he again declared interest in the same office and thus purchased the nomination form and participated at the primaries. He emerged victorious at the primaries and was getting ready to contest at the general election. Analysts have said that his chances of victory at the general election were quite high and that he was likely going to win the race. But while making arrangements to embark on campaigns across his senatorial district for the upcoming Senate election, he was nominated by Bola Ahmed Tunubu as his running mate for the 2023 presidential election. His nomination was greeted with serious opposition from some segments of Nigeria who were opposed to a Muslim Muslim ticket. Some explanations were offered to douse the opposition to his candidacy. With the passage of time, the opposition did not gather much momentum anymore. And at the general election, Bola Ahmed Chunubu was announced as the winner of the election, and Kashim Shetima thus emerged as his vice president. The election was criticized and taken to court by Peter Obi of the Labour Party and Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party. On May 29, 2023, Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Kashim Shetima were sworn in as President and Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, respectively. By the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Kashim Shetima he is to serve in the office of vice president for a period of four years and shall be eligible to be nominated for the same office at the end 
office first tenure. He shall also be eligible to contest for the office of President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria when the time becomes ripe. To some persons, Kashim Shetima is a deeply controversial figure. To others, he is their best man. Kashim Shetima thus means different things to different people. Shetima is married to his lovely wife Nana Shetima and together they have three children. Thanks for watching this episode of Back in History and do remember to subscribe to the channel or follow the page for regular notification on every new video.